Hi, my name is Robert Tubbs. The man behind the camera is David, my mentor from my apprentice under. This is a 20 million volt particle accelerator. And these are some very nice meteorites from uh, Nankan, China, and uh, Media Crater, Arizona, that were provided to me by my astronomy professor. One way. And what this is good for is producing high energy gammas, and those high energy gammas produce neutrons. And those neutrons can be thermalized by hydrogen rich material and become activated or activate uh, the samples and we should be able to get some gamma emission out of that and take a look at inside as to what's actually in the sample. It's called neutron activation analysis. To give it a little bit of extra kick, we have some deuterium oxide, which uh, has a very low binding energy, and any photon that strikes a nucleus that exceeds its binding energy will produce uh, photovisions and photoneutrons, generally. So we've got our El Chico moderator and neutron oven kind of set up here. And we're going to let it do its thing. Take your other samples with you if you don't want to activate them at all. I do. I want to activate them. There we go. door shot. A bit slow, but... thing about that is gamma um, is typically specific for each uh, isotope, each isomer of each element. So what you get is uh, photons that are typically only coming from one of those. So you can generate a spectrum telling you exactly what is inside a sample. This is a multi-channel analyzer setup. And um, Right now, it was calibrated for uh, cesium-137 with a 32 keV peak and a 660-something keV peak. And uh, it's now going to take a background count, and we'll compare that to the activated meteorites. And we will start up the accelerator now. Huh. Check that out. Personal dosimeters going off through the walls. Actually, that's that's actually pretty funny. You'll notice the dosimeters are going off. Even with uh, thick concrete walls, you can still get stuff coming through. All right, so we'll check back in maybe about an hour and uh, see if we can get any meaningful spectra off those meteorites. If not, oh well, but I suspect we can probably find something in there. Okay.